guys, it's Jen and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a different kind of video, not something I normally do, but I figured, hey, what the heck, it's Christmas time and sometimes we just want to watch some Christmas movies. So I'm going to tell you guys what my favorite Christmas movies are and some recommendations for you guys. So I'm going to kind of show the pictures of the films right here, like posters or something so you guys can know what films I am talking about. I have quite a few on my list and I figured I'd share them with you. So for my first Christmas movie I'm going to pick on my list is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. This is a great Christmas movie. I love the way these movies like this are filmed. Um, I think they are an amazing type of movie just because of the time and the effort it takes just to film these type of movies. It's not like, you know, anything these days. Um, so I really love these types of movies. These older Christmas movies are fantastic. But Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is one of my absolute favorites because it actually tells the full story of Rudolph and it doesn't just have little bits and pieces of him just as a like a baby deer or a fawn, whatever you want to call the baby deer. Um, but it actually tells his entire story all the way through from him being a baby fawn all the way till adulthood. So it is a great little story of Rudolph, you know, how he becomes the famous reindeer and everything like that. And it talks more about his family and, you know, his story. Because of course it's about Rudolph. <laughs> the next one is a... Christmas Carol, the Muppets Christmas Carol movie, and I love the Muppets Christmas Carol movie. It is my favorite version of A Christmas Carol. There are millions of versions out there, and I'm sure there's probably millions of versions of this movie out there, um, but this is my favorite. I love the Muppets, and I just love the way that it's told through Muppets. Um, so to me, I just really love this one. This is my favorite version of it. Um, if you have a favorite version, list it down below, but this is mine and I just love the Muppets. So, uh, Muppets Christmas Carol, basic Scrooge, the three ghosts that visit him, and just that's all I'm gonna say because I think everybody has seen a uh, Christmas Carol in some form of another. So, that's all I'm gonna say. Another one of my favorites is A Charlie Brown Christmas, and I think here in the United States this has become kind of a little staple for us. A lot of people have the Charlie Brown Christmas tree, and I actually have it as my table decoration during Christmas time and everything. I really love the movie, my daughter loves the movie, my husband loves the movie. It is just really a staple for anyone who loves the Peanuts movies or the Peanuts in general or if you just really want a good little family film it is a really good one about you know Charlie Brown not really getting into Christmas and he really just doesn't understand what Christmas is all about why you know everyone is so excited about it. he's just tired of all the hype over the gifts and everything like that so it is a really good movie for like kids and adults too who kind of forget what the holiday season is about. Another one of my favorites, and this one I think came out last year or the year before last, it's called Arthur Christmas and it's a really cute Christmas tale about Arthur Christmas who is Santa Claus's son and he has a grand Santa and a brother who wants to be Santa Claus and it's just a really adorable movie just about how this one child gets left out and Arthur goes on this big adventure to just bring her this bicycle. It is an amazing story. I really love it. It's really cute. And I just really feel like that is one story that, you know, any kid or any adult would actually really enjoy watching this movie because it is it's just really cute and it has a lot of like um, technology things in it too and just kind of, it's kind of a funny story but it's a really cute uh, story and I really really enjoy this movie. It is one of my favorites even though it has not been out that long. Okay this next movie is called Rise of the Guardians and this is one of my favorite films. It has Jack Frost, Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, and the Tooth Fairy. And if you're anything like me you really really love just like holidays in general, especially spending time with your family, and this just kind of has every single one of them in it. You know, the Tooth Fairy's not like a huge part of 
holidays or anything like that, and neither is Jack Frost, but I have a special place in my heart for Jack Frost. He is one of my all-time favorite Christmas characters in general, and when I knew that Jack Frost was in this, I was like, I have to have this movie, and I do have it. I love it. It is a great tale of Jack Frost becoming a guardian and helping the other guardians of Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, and the Tooth Fairy, and the Sandman, I forgot about him, um, all to defeat the, like, boogeyman. It is a really good story, and it is really good for kids, too. It's just kind of like this underdog discovering who he is and why he is a guardian. So it is a really good story and I, I just really love this movie. So my next one is Jack Frost and Jack Frost is my all-time favorite Christmas movie even though this is not really superly a Christmas movie it does have Christmas in it but it's more about Jack Frost and it has the groundhog um, from Groundhog's Day which it really has nothing to do with um, kind of like Christmas, but it is just a heartwarming tale of Jack Frost becoming a human, falling in love with a girl, and it does have Christmas in it, but it is just, I have to watch it every year for Christmas, and I definitely recommend it. If you guys have not seen this movie, you need to see it. Like, it is my favorite movie. Like, I'm not even kidding. Christmas time, this is one that I watch on Christmas Day, and my family does. Okay. So you have to watch this movie. It is just a really good movie. And if you don't like this movie, I don't know what to tell you because it is my favorite and you're missing out if you don't watch it or if you don't like it. I don't know what's wrong with you. My next Christmas recommendation and a favorite movie uh, is The Nightmare Before Christmas. And I know this is actually a um, Halloween movie, but it has the Nightmare Before Christmas in it, so it has Christmas right in the title. It is a perfect Christmas movie for someone who doesn't really like Christmas movies or for someone who just loves kind of like creepy things. Um, I love this movie. It is a perfect movie any time of the year, honestly. I can watch it in the summertime, the wintertime, and Christmas, Halloween. Oh yeah, it's gonna be on my TV. So I think this is a really good movie. It is a tale of Jack Skellington, the king of Halloween, who falls into Christmas land and kind of becomes obsessed and tries to take over the holiday of Christmas. So it is an amazing story and it is really cute and funny and it has some really great songs that are very memorable. If you have not seen it, you need to go watch this movie. Just stop, pause, go watch the movie. <laughs> so, um, that is one of my all-time favorites. Also, but Jack Frost, man, he's number one in my book still. I think I got a crush on him a little bit. But, moving on. So, my next Christmas recommendation is Santa Claus is Coming to Town. This is a great Christmas movie for the Santa Claus story. If you really, um, like Santa Claus-based movies, things like this, this is a great one because it tells the story of where Santa Claus begins, um, in his journey and his early years of life and then all the way up to where he meets his wife and to where he truly becomes Santa Claus and is like flying around the world kind of giving gifts and everything like that. It is just a really great story and I really do love this movie. So the next recommendation is Elf. Elf is a hilarious movie with Will Ferrell in it and he is a funny comedian. Let's just play, leave it at that. He is the elf in the movie and he is raised by elves thinking that he is an elf when he in fact is a human and once he realizes that he is not an elf he decides to go out in the world and find his father that does not know that he had ever been born. So it is a really funny story of just this guy who thinks he's an elf and everything's all cheerful and rainbows and sunshines and then he just kind of goes out into the world to find his father. It is just a really, really funny story and it is hilarious. Like it is a perfect comedy. So Miracle on 34th Street. So this movie is about a little girl and her mother, and her mother is like the pageant director of like the Macy Days Parade, the big old parades that, you know, are on TV every year. So her mother is like the big director of that, and they ended up needing a Santa Claus to fill the spot in like this store and in their parade. And 
it's just a wonderful story about how this little girl turns everything around just by believing in Santa Claus and it has a great story of Santa Claus and how he um, proves to everyone that he is really Santa Claus. It is just a great, great story. Um, so that is a definite recommendation. I love the film. I don't know how else to, to talk about the film. Like I kind of gave it away, but I didn't. Um, it is a really great movie and I really enjoyed the movie. It was for Christmases and this is a comedy Christmas movie. It's um, about a couple who end up like lying every year to trying to not deal with their families for the holidays and they end up getting caught in their lie on national like TV and their families like calling them and um, it's pretty funny because they end up having to deal with their family and they have to have four Christmases with each one of their parents because their parents are all split up so they have to go to each of their house together which is something they've never done the entire time they've been together because they've got out of it every year so it's really funny watching this story unfold of them dealing with each other's parents and everything like that and just dealing with it themselves all their issues that they had that they never really talked about and dealt with um, so it was it's a really good movie and it's really funny because it has Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon in it which is just it's, it's hilarious like it is one of my favorites and it is one of the first movies that me and my husband ever like saw together so it's kind of got a special place in my heart another one is National Lampoon's Christmas and this is kind of a family movie but it's not because I just feel like there's a lot of like words in this movie that children don't really need to hear like a lot of curse cursing and just like craziness going on um, in the movie and it's just I don't feel like it's a, a movie that really little children need to see but um you know all on whatever you want for your kids but for me I just don't really feel like it's one that if you're watching it on TV I don't think it's as bad but um, anyways back to the talking about the movie it, it does have <laughs> it's about this guy who is just wants everything to be perfect for his holidays and when his family starts showing up to his house just things start going crazy like he gets stuck in the attic and he's like up there freezing and all his family's off shopping getting Christmas gifts and he ends up poking a hole in the roof uh, in the roof of his ceiling he's trying to put up Christmas lights and he can't get them and it's it's just hilarious freaking movie um, you know he has like crazy cousins that come and or not cousins but he has like crazy like brother-in-law that comes and just like is insane it's just, just literally he's insane but it's so funny and it is a good movie but I just don't really feel like it's for children <laughs> okay and then the last Christmas recommendation and this is definitely adult only movie no children watching this movie this is not for kids and that is bad Santa <laughs> This is freaking hilarious. This is one of the funniest movies ever and it is not for children. Like I am not even saying that it can possibly for, be for children. This is not a movie for kids. It has a lot of um, bad scenes, um, bad words in it. It is about a guy who's basically a robber who dresses up like Santa and he's a drunk and alcoholic and he just does all this bad stuff and he has he just does a lot of bad stuff and he has very foul language and everything is it's it's but it's so funny like the end and everything he's just it's a good movie but it is not for kids in any way shape or form and and it it's it's kind of on the borderline of being like so bad you don't think you need to be watching it but it's so funny you can't stop watching it um but I really like the movie and it's kind of one of my favorites um so yeah that's the end of my Christmas recommendations with the last one being the very 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 last and kind of like the totally not for kids so I hope you guys really enjoyed this list. If I skipped out on any of your favorite Christmas movies, list them down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share you guys. And until next time, bye guys and Merry Christmas.